A wicket gate is a form of, of movable dam. It's essentially a rectangular plate that's held in place with a hinge and a prop rod. What it allows you to do is raise or lower the dam depending on the river conditions. So if you have a lot of water and a lot of flow, you can put the wicket gates, they can lay on the bottom of the, the channel and barge traffic or navigation traffic can pass over the wicket gates. If you need to maintain pool in low water conditions, you can raise the wicket gates up and they form the dam and hold pool and then barges or other navigation traffic would have to walk through the lock. In the use of uh, composites for these wicket gates, the uh, materials are expected to last four to ten times longer than the existing wooden gates that are in use. Well, there were several challenges in trying to replace the wood in wicket gates. The traditional timber wicket gates are made from uh, white oak timber, large white oak timber. Uh, they're all handmade. They're, they're, they're very expensive because of the labor involved in that. They're a fairly old technology. They were used quite a bit by the Corps of Engineers in early dams, and only a few dams are left that still have these wooden wicket gates. So there's no engineering design of these. Um, so when we were looking at these, we didn't know the service loads. We didn't know exactly how we were going to engineer another material to replace them. The first step in the process was to take a wooden, a timber wicket gate and reverse engineer it. Look at its capacities, its bending stiffness, its strengths, and then we also had to match the weight and balance of the timber wicket gates. So we used a, a fiber reinforced polymer composite material and engineered it to have the same weight, balance, flexural stiffness, and other mechanical properties to mimic the timber wicket gate. They also use all of the same steel components. Also with this, uh, the maintenance crews can take up to three or four days, uh, considering if they have to mold and be demold to get to the site, three or four days to replace three wicket gates. So by reducing both the uh, maintenance cost and the initial cost, we expect maybe a $20 million lifetime cost savings for this project using the composite materials. Also another benefit is that the crews can be working on other critical infrastructure rather than replacing these gates.